This is the whole point here that Allah Azza wa Jal has given all of us enough time to think about truth and to act upon that truth. And our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as well therefore encouraged us to think daily about what we are doing to benefit our time. Every single day is a gift from Allah. Every week, every month, every year. So every day and week and month and year we should be having our goals. What do I want to do? Our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Hadith is a Sahih Muslim that every Muslim wakes up Everybody wakes up in the morning and he goes out to work. He's giving an example of a, a businessman. That every one of us is as if he has a business. That everybody has to take care of that business. And they go out to work for themselves. So some of the people end up freeing themselves as if they're in labor, enslaved. They'll end up freeing themselves. And others will end up destroying themselves. You are the business. Your profit and loss is what is at stake here. Not something else. And the Prophet said, what is your commodity that you have? Have time you have time on your side and everybody has the same amount of time per unit day every day we have the same amount of time the rich and the poor the weak and the strong men and women Muslim and non-Muslim the one thing we all share exactly the same per unit is time every day when I wake up Everybody that is awake at this day has the same potential to do something 24 hours for every day that we have. And this is what our Prophet is saying, that every morning they wake up, everybody wakes up, Kullun nasi yaghdu. everybody wakes up, walking out, wanting to do some amal, to, to do some good. And so either they end up freeing themselves as if they were a slave, uh, uh, you know, that they have to free themselves, or they end up destroying themselves. So we are the business and the commodity we have on our side is time. And this is exactly the analogy that our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. So the wise person, my dear brothers and sisters, thinks about what are his goals for the short term, for the immediate term, and yes, even for the long term. As Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Quran, Let every person think what he has done for tomorrow. For tomorrow. Now the ayah of course means tomorrow, the akhirah. But even tomorrow in this world, what have we prepared for tomorrow? What is our vision? What is our goal? What do I seek to accomplish with the time that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given me? And the Sahaba radiallahu anhum and the Tabi'un would be the greatest examples for us in how much they cared about time. Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, the greatest regret that I have is that a day passes and my end date becomes closer and yet my deeds do not increase. My greatest regret, he says, a day passes and my time diminishes, but my good deeds do not increase. My brothers and sisters, let me clarify something because we have been polluted. Let me tell you something just for the sake of understanding because there's many people who tell me, look, you know, maybe I don't pray, Akhi, but you don't know what I do in secret. Yeah, you know, maybe I don't pray, but so Allah, I've got a big heart. You know, Allah, you know, I give a lot of money in charity. My brothers and sisters, let me tell you something and understand this as fact. As far as sin is concerned, and please understand this message very, very clearly. Of course, it's all sin, it's all haram, none of it is good and accepted. But for the sake of understanding, because many of us, what? We see a brother that's selling drugs, we see a brother that maybe murdered another brother, and we say, far, look at these people, look how rubbish they are. Habibi, let me tell you something in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As far as sin is concerned, yeah? The one that sells drugs, good or bad? Just very quickly, good or bad? Bad. How about the murderer? How about the one who commits adultery, zina? What about the one who rapes a child? What about the one who drinks alcohol? What about the one who does the biggest of the kabad, good or bad? This person, one person that commits all of these sins, he commits all of these sins on a daily basis, but he prays, is better in the eyes of Allah than the one that doesn't commit any of these sins, but doesn't pray. There are two gifts of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that many people are deceived about, many people take for granted, many people do not realize the value of. One is time and one and the other is health. A person's health, subhanallah, is taken for granted until the day it starts diminishing. May Allah grant cure to those who are struggling in any way, those who are sick and ill in any way. But at the same time, the time we have, let's utilize it properly, let's utilize it positively. And at the same time, we should be reading the Quran, we should be learning why we are here in this world. Sometimes we leave the world without knowing why we were here. 
that's not good enough. Allah has blessed us with so much. It's not all about the rat race. It's not all about earning. If it was all about wealth and materialistic items, we would be taking those straight through with us into the akhirah, into the afterlife. But when we die, we are buried without our phones, without our cars, without our homes, without our houses, without appliances, without anything that we've had, no clothing, no perfumes. All this is left behind. This shows us that there is a greater picture. In fact, we leave behind our bodies as well. They are in the graves and perhaps decompose in a short time. So the gift of time is such that we should use it in order to know why we have been made. Why did Allah create me? I need answers. For those answers, I need to spend some time. I need to make an effort. And this is when we, I will be able to understand the gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon me.